Oh dear. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a complete dumbass. I've blown the thing up. In the last video I showed this brand new solar charge controller and the idea was to fit it to the system that I've got for the house and hopefully fix an issue with charging. Well, you'll not be able to see yet, I'll show indoors. But I've got the thing open now because I've blown up two 40 amp fuses that were inside. Because, if you look behind, the sun's out. <laughs> and I thought to myself, well, all right, the sun's out. Come on, we can get the video done. I'll quickly mount this thing on the wall, connect up, and see what happens. Well, I did see what happened, was the, was the thing exploding. Anyway, let's go indoors, and I'll show you what happened. Hello, cat. You all right? You're not blown up, are you? You got all your fuses in place? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is to try this unit out I'm just going to simply replace the Redodo and see what this one does for the charging and as I say if it keeps dropping out as well will there be something else wrong like perhaps the wiring or something coming out and going to the batteries but a simple swap over is what I'll do next and we'll see how it does right complete disaster um, I was rushing a bit because the Sun came out and so I foolishly didn't check whether the blue was the positive or the brown was the positive. I should have used red and black. Didn't have any more wires than this. And these are a good gauge. And I thought it was the sound of this plastic stuff. Um, but it wasn't. Evidently a fuse inside has popped. It doesn't have, um, well, not that it needs to have, but uh, reverse protection on the voltage. When I have connected it up correctly, the screen's not on. So it looks like I've unalived it. Not sure what to do now. Okay, so I've brought it out to the kitchen table and I'm not going to be doing one of those daft returns. You know, some folks might say, oh, it never worked or something. This has been my fault. I did connect up the wrong wires. So what I'm going to do is take the screws out the back. We'll get to see the inside of it and hopefully the very obvious busted fuse. And so I suppose it's a little bit of a bonus to see inside the thing. Okay, I'll get it open. Come back in a minute. And here we are, it's opened on the right hand side, we've got the screen, got the ribbon connector, I don't know what that is, looks like it ought to go there instead. Firmly attached. Hmm. But there are uh, two fuses there, they look sort of like automotive fuses, I'll inspect those. Right, I'll try and zoom in with the camera, but um, both fuses have gone, 40 amp fuses. So they'll need replacing. I hope I've not completely broken it and hopefully the fuses have done the job, but yeah, both of them. Oh. So where this is up to is that we went to Walmart last night and couldn't find any 40 amp fuses. Well, there was one in a packet for about $16 <laughs> with some others. Um, I think probably 40 amps is quite a rare find, especially at that tiny micro size so I think I'm going to order online and it means that well unfortunately for you folks and for me um, we're going to have to wait for the video so I can make a repair and hopefully see this up and running but yes it was a terrible mistake and really based on me rushing so if there's a lesson from it all is well take your time and check connections I suppose really hopefully it's not $75 down the pan Okay, see you next time.